Hello coffee lovers, welcome back. Today is all about mocha pot. I am going to give you the basics about mocha pot from a home barista lingo. So I hope it will be easier to understand. What is mocha pot? Mocha pot originated in Italy and what it does is it gives you good quality espresso for less. So instead of buying expensive espresso machines, you can make a similar espresso using a mocha pot, which is only about 50 US dollars. Mocha pots are inexpensive espresso makers that originated from Italy. It is said that most households in Italy would have one of these. For coffee lovers out there, perhaps after watching this video, you would be encouraged to get one for yourselves. And why ever not? Stay tuned until the end of this video and you will learn a lot more about mocha pot. Also, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you two different types of mocha pots. One is the express and the other is the bricka. The main difference between the two is that the bricka gives you more crema. It is equipped with a weight right on top and tiny holes so that the flow of the water from the boiler to the pot is regulated. Now, the other main difference between the two is that the cost of an express is about 50 US dollars in Thailand and the bricker is about 120 to 150 US dollars. In terms of taste, does one give a better taste than the other? We're going to find out in a bit. Now let's talk about the sizes of mocha pots. Mocha pots come in different sizes. This is a four cup mocha pot. This is a two cup bricker. And when you talk about cups, it doesn't mean this cup, it means this cup. Well, this is an Italian gadget and in Italy, they measure their coffee in shots. One shot is equal to 30 ml. So that means to say, if I buy a four cup mocha pot, it means I can make four shots of espresso. That means you can share one pot among four people, depending on how strong you'd like your coffee to be. If you'd like it to be stronger, then maybe just two people would share uh, four shots of espresso. So really, it depends on how many will be sharing this pot. As a guide, I normally use one shot for hot coffee and two shots for iced coffee. Next topic, how do we select the coffee beans that we will use for our mocha pot? There are many different types of coffee roasts. So you decide which is your favorite blend and use that with your mocha pot. I have here three different types of roasts. One is we call the Italian roast, which is the medium roast. And then I have here espresso, it's a darker roast. Both these two are 100% Arabica. And finally, I have the extra strong, which is the darkest of the three. Now, which roast is better for hot coffee? Personally, I prefer the medium roast for hot coffee. And for iced coffee, I prefer them to be slightly darker. This one is a dark 100% Arabica, and this is a darker, blend of Arabica and Robusta. So for iced coffee, I prefer them stronger, so I'll have this too. But for today, because we are going to make hot coffee, I am going to use my medium roast or Italian roast. In terms of grind, espresso used fine grind. For the mocha pot, it's not exactly like the espresso grind. We are going to use medium to fine grind. So if you don't have a grinder at home, you can always ask the seller to grind the coffee for you for mocha pot. So now you have decided which mocha pot to buy, you have decided which coffee to use. Let's talk about how much coffee should you put in your mocha pot. A mocha pot has three parts. You have the pot where the brewed espresso comes out of, the basket where you put your ground coffee, and this is the boiler where you put the water. Let's talk about how much coffee do you put in your basket. You cannot have fill a basket, so you must fill this to the top every time you make you brew your coffee. So usually for me, I use about 15 grams of coffee for this one. Using an espresso machine for a single shot, you put seven to nine grams of coffee beans. But for double shot, you put about 14 to 18 grams of coffee. For this, for a two shot espresso, I usually put about 15 grams. You can experiment and decide which one works better for you. So anyway, you don't tamp it, you don't put pressure there, you just fill this to the top. But for me, as I have said, I like to measure them. So today we are going to measure 15 grams of coffee 
for the basket. Next is how much water should you put in your boiler? Now, this boiler is for four cups. That means according to the specifications, it could hold up to about 200 ml of water. For me, I don't really follow what the specifications say. If I want to get two shots of espresso, I'm going to put three shots of water or three ounces of water in my boiler. Now, the only thing is you cannot fill the boiler over the pressure valve. So it should be below the valve. So if this is a 200 ml boiler, if I put 90 ml, that's okay. If I put 250 ml, it won't work. And also the taste of your coffee will not be strong. Next topic, let's talk about milk because most of those that will make this will probably add milk into their drink except for those that will make them as Americano or black coffee. Milk, you may use any milk that you prefer. So you can use fresh milk, whole milk, almond milk, soy milk, depending on your own preference. Now, hot coffee, usually I would not put any sweetener in there, but um, for iced coffee, because iced coffee is more like a dessert, so I have a different recipe for that. Now you decide whether you would like to add sweetener or flavor. So sweetener, you may add sugar syrup or just crystal sugar or brown sugar even. Or if you'd like it to be flavored like caramel, hazelnut or vanilla, you may add some flavored syrup. So there you go, we've covered everything. We can now start making our coffee. So for the Brica, I am going to use three ounces of water because I'd like to pull two shots of espresso. I'm going to measure 15 grams of coffee. Go to tear. So two scoops should be about 15 grams of coffee. Let's just make it 15 there. And you have your coffee. Put it into the grinder. That's everything. So now I just am going to level it. So shake it. I shook it a little bit too much. Put it back. Shake it and take off all the excess. Okay, this is 15 grams of coffee into my boiler. For the Mocha Express, I am going to do the same, but this time we are going to use hot water. Same amount of water three ounces. So the taste will be the same. I'm putting my hot water in the boiler and then let's get our coffee. This time we are repeating the whole process for our Mocha Express. 15 grams of coffee into the grinder I'm using a funnel so as not to make a mess of the whole process of grinding and everything gets into my basket. Once again, shake it a little bit and level everything. Make sure you clean the sides so that there will be no leak in the mocha pot. Assemble the mocha pot for the bricka. Make sure it's firmly in place and I can touch the boiler here because I use cold water. Apparently, it's better to use cold water for the Brica. For the Mocha Express, be careful because we use hot water. Use a cloth to hold the boiler and lock the pot firmly in place. Turn on the heat and we are going to wait for the magic to happen. After three minutes, our Mocha Express is finished. You can see the coffee coming out of the funnel into the pot. You might wish to close the lid or it might spew all over the place. Because we use hot water, it was faster. For the breaker, it takes a bit longer, but look at all that crema. Turn off the heat and now let's start to prepare our hot coffee drinks. My milk is warm. We are going to use a manual milk frother to make a foam. It is hot, so use the cloth and pump. The milk should double in size and look at that. It is quite smooth, very smooth. I'm going to transfer it to a jug with a spout for easy pouring. 
going to put my one ounce of espresso or one shot of espresso and the milk. This is a latte. On to the next one, I'm going to make a cappuccino. Once again, we'll make a milk foam. Pour into a pouring jug. One shot of espresso into my cup. And this time I am going to use a technique that everyone can do. So first I scoop up my foam and then pour the milk over. This way we are going to get a really smooth cappuccino foam on top. And because this is cappuccino, we're going to sprinkle some cinnamon on top. And there you have your hot cappuccino. Finally, one more drink to go. One more shot of espresso. Get our warm milk. Pour the milk into the cup. This time we are going to make a flat white. Straight and simple. Because it is the month of love, I am going to make a heart latte art on top. But of course, I'm using a template. It makes it easier. Ready to serve. Well, this is the latte using espresso from the bricker. Let's give it a try. Mmm, very, very smooth. Strong espresso. Lovely. Now, this was the espresso using the Mocha Express. Smooth. I think that in terms of taste, the one from the Bricka seems to be a bit more concentrated than the one from the Mocha Express. But anyway, they're equally good. It depends on how much you are willing to pay to get a Mocha pot. There you have it. I hope that you learned something new today. For those at home who really love their coffee, get yourselves a mocha pot. This is cafe style espresso without having to spend that much money on an espresso machine. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video tutorial as much as I enjoyed doing it. I'll see you again in my next video tutorial. Now don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Like, comment, and share the love. In the meantime, Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.